the delegate from Fairfax, Delegate Fullercorn. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise for a point of personal privilege. The delegate is the floor. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today, the special session, to try yet again, once again, to pass meaningful gun violence prevention legislation. I welcome and appreciate Governor Northam's call for this session so that we can do something about the scourge of gun violence that affects far too many Virginians and far too many Americans every single day. The fact remains that since the Virginia Tech tragedy, 11,000 Virginians, 11,000 have been killed by guns. This is a problem that shows no signs of disappearing unless we do something about it. Mr. Speaker, doing nothing is not an option. Our caucus is here today with a singular focus to pass the governor's eight bills, straightforward legislation that addresses this critical issue. By passing these eight bills, we can save lives. We can make Virginians safer. And I'd like to add that each one of these bills honors the Second Amendment and respects law-abiding gun owners. We need to have real conversations about the ease with which individuals who might be a harm to themselves or others can get a gun, while also helping, wanting to help gun owners keep their guns away from those who could harm or hurt others. The tragedy in Virginia Beach may be the catalyst that brought us here, but the effort that we will make today to address gun violence that happens throughout the Commonwealth every day, every day in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Far too many innocent people lost their lives in Virginia Beach just last month. And every week in the Commonwealth, far too many innocent people lose their lives from guns as well. No one should worry when they go to work, when they go to a movie, when they go to a restaurant, they go to a picnic, that they might not be able to return home to their loved ones. We are here because as, an elected, as elected officials, we have an obligation to victims, to Virginians, to survivors, to loved ones, to our communities. Our inaction over the years speaks volumes. I believe all 100 of us here in this body are here because we want to make a difference. We want to improve the lives of Virginians. Well, today, we can actually do that. Not only that, we can pass bills that will save lives. This is not about politics. It's not about partisanship. It's about doing what's right for the Commonwealth of Virginia. Let's take the initiative and create a safe Virginia. Let's say yes to gun violence prevention and yes to the great people of this Commonwealth. Our caucus is asking you, Mr. Speaker, to allow each of these eight bills to be brought to the floor for an up or down vote. We can do something to keep Virginia secure, to keep our loved ones safe and our children protected. We can do it right now by debating and voting on these eight bills. When it comes to gun violence, Mr. Speaker, saying no to the people of the Commonwealth is not an option. Ladies and gentlemen, doing nothing is not an option. Thank you.